Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Well, we just got one step closer to seeing how the Ballon d'Or cards will be entering FC 25, but it is still uncertain as to how it will work. Guys, there's a new pack code that has been leaked. It looks like these cards are going to come in through the store, but are they going to be loans? Are they going to be a part of the promo team? Are there going to be more than just Bon Mati? and Rodri coming as Ballon d'Or cards. We have a lot of questions, especially because Rodri is leaked as a Centurion. Yeah, there's a lot to discuss today, guys, on top of the normal Wednesday content where we will, of course, look at what is dropping today, another party bag SBC, and the market. It's an investing day as we look to invest before a rewards market rise with Rivals Rewards coming out tomorrow. There's a lot to discuss today, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Let's look at yesterday's content from Tuesday first with our objectives refreshing in Rush, which I will say right now, if you're going to go play Rush, play the new Trailblazers versus Team League mode that was the glitched one, right, with the objective giving uh, progress for quitting out of the games. You get more Rush points inside of that, and it's a good place to get some evolutions done still. I would like to say and notice here, they did change the overall group reward to a 1 of 3 84 plus player pick instead of an 84 times 2. There's also an 83 times 2 in here as well, so not much of a change, but slightly better rewards, I guess you could say let's go to evolutions where we had a cosmetic evo released yesterday and you can actually do it multiple times i think you can do it twice it is the trailblazers plus it's cosmetic only guys and i actually did this with a player yesterday but all it does is it applies some extra fire around the edges of the card which does look cool i won't lie but it also is kind of like I don't know. It's just a weird one, right? It's one of those cosmetic evos that we're starting to see this year with EA kind of implementing some of this cosmetic stuff. I did it on the Lindsay Harand, aka the Budget Puteas. She is very, very good. I did it mostly for the banter. 10,000 coins. It seems kind of useless, right? But it's it's there and it is kind of cool if you think it's cool. It obviously isn't a normal evolution. It's just a cosmetic one. So interesting. They require 10,000 coins or 150 FC points for that. But if you find any interest in that, that is there. I just think that we're going to continue to see more Evos like that throughout the year because they're trying to implement more of this cosmetic stuff, which I think is cool on one aspect. But sometimes when you're wanting some real content at the same time, that stuff seems kind of annoying now let's get to SBCs where the real content was yesterday with the showdown guys we had the Serie A showdown between Matteo Politano kind of becoming a FIFA or FC ultimate team legend he's got a really nice card here and they added a good bit of play styles to him four star four star he can play right wing right mid he is left footed though but he's got really good pace really good dribbling and solid shooting and passing along with power shot whipped pass technical rapid and Trivella with inside forward plus plus at the right mid position and a plus in the right wing position. This is a really, really good card, guys. It's only two squads. It's 33,000 coins to complete. You do need a team of the week, but it's an 82 and 83 rated squad. It's kind of similar to how we had the Caicedo and the Ugarte. They're both 84 rated showdown cards. They're both very easy to complete. This Darmian also looks very interesting. False back plus plus as a right back, but he can play center back. He's got anticipate, whipped pass, block, slide tackle, and relentless and he's got a five star weak foot so both of these are really cheap and i know they're not as meta maybe as some people would have liked them to be but it, i think that is of course because they are live cards whoever wins the game between inter and napoli this coming sunday will get a plus two if it is a draw like the united chelsea game was it'll just be a plus one but honestly just like that other showdown sbc as well both of these could be worth completing if you have Serie A links because 84 rated cards guys can honestly start to be evoed here really really soon there might be an evolution that either these two cards fit if they don't get upgraded by the end of this month that could make them pretty good items so i think both these are worth doing they're just cheap and they're not that expensive uh and they're just not that meta that's that com kind of combination right they're cheap they're not that meta i think that's fine not every spc needs to be super crazy and super duper meta i think the live aspect here and of course, the showdown plus design after they get upgraded does look pretty cool. So I have no problems with those SBCs for sure. Now, the other SBC we had yesterday was an upgrade pack. It was the 84 times 2, 84 double upgrade, which I'll be honest, 
I've opened a couple of these. I'm sure you guys have as well. And 84 times two from like the old rush objective rewards, those were terrible. And I was surprised yesterday when I opened this for myself and I actually got two walkouts, a double walkouts, an 87 and 86. I think a lot of people got two 84s from this though. This pack is not very good. I would say, honestly, prioritize one of those showdown SBCs ahead of one of these 84 doubles, to be completely honest. It's not that expensive. It's only one squad. You do need, what was it, like 384s to get this done. So, of course, with the 84 requirements there and the refresh of the RTTK and Total Rush pack once more, the fourth time that this is refreshed for the party bag, which is crazy, the low tier of fodder is up. 83s, 84s, and Team of the Weeks have actually gone up a decent amount. 84s are like 3.5k, 83s are not this card, they're at 1.1k on the market, and I'm hearing that Team of the Weeks are even selling at 14 to 15,000 coins. They're starting to climb up in value. I'm not selling the ones in my club yet. I'm still holding, but that is an opportunity where you can actually trade with Team of the Weeks. I would expect Team of the Weeks maybe to drop a little bit today, though, or at least maybe not go up as much. We're going to have some more content that's going to require them, I'd imagine, but we're also going to get a new Team of the Week in packs. That's just kind of something to mention. These cards are now, wow, insta-selling at 14,750, and even at 15,000 coins, selling very, very quickly. So in forums have started to go up a decent amount. That is pretty crazy. But like I just mentioned, I do think that we're going to have more SBCs today requiring 83 to 85 rated cards, which is why I would say if you have these, I think they could go a little bit higher after content today. We'll talk more about that later in the video. Now, of course, we got to talk about the big news from the games yesterday, guys, with Road to the Knockout. Some cards are going up. Some cards have gone down because teams lost. Real Madrid losing to AC Milan. They are going down, or Jude Bellingham's card is going down. And on the other side of things, Loftus Cheek is going up, but he doesn't even get an upgrade because they have not fulfilled all the requirements for the upgrades. Now, from all the games yesterday, these are the upgrades that we are waiting on. Noah Lang, Fuller and Balligan getting a plus two, Julian Brandt getting a plus two, Jota and VVD both getting plus ones as well. But the biggest name for an upgrade incoming is this Goncalo and Ignacio card with Sporting's win over City yesterday. Goncalo Ignacio satisfies the final two requirements and he will get a plus two on Friday. But the thing that's making this card go up so much in the market, guys, he's going to be extinct today at 30,000 coins because there is this potential and it's kind of a left field chance, but it happened last year and a lot of people are banking on it happening again. This card fits the Bomb Pastor Evo that takes him to an 86 rated card. And allegedly, after this upgrade, on this card and he becomes an 86 since he's going to get a plus two overall which it would be just a plus two overall guys he would go from an 84 to an 85 and then an 85 to an 86 it does not look like it's a inform upgrade it's just a strict straight up plus one overall so i've seen some people saying this is going to be an 89 rated card ea could disregard what their website says but the website says plus one overall it does not say plus one in form so i would expect this card to go to an 86 the base uh, road to the knockouts to go to an 86 on friday but if you do this evo there's a chance and it's actually a pretty high chance that the evo would go up plus two as well because if you take a look and i've seen people tweeting this out people who have evo this card when they have the evo version it still has the profile in here that mentions the card is a road to the knockout player item that will get upgraded per the certain requirements and when they complete them they get upgraded right so it is thought to be that this 86 Goncalo Ignacio, if you do this Evo, it is 70,000 coins and the card is going to be extinct 30k. So it's going to cost you, you know, 90, 100,000 coins to get it done. But he could go to an 88 rated card with a plus two boost on top of this Evo, ver Evo version, which would make him a pretty crazy center defensive mid with some pretty nice stats. So that is one thing I want to talk about because right now his card price is absolutely skyrocketing and his max price is 30k. I do believe he will probably approach the extinct mark today and will probably stay that way until he gets his upgrade later on this week or until the evo expires i don't know which one happens first but that is kind of going around the community at the moment and that's why his card is going up as much as it is now other cards that got some wins are going up as well like you take a look at the fuller and balligan 
Um, his card is going up on the market. But also you take a look at a guy like Julian Brandt, which is why we were saying sell this card in the hype. He is still right around 60,000 coins, but of course he peaked yesterday before the game at 66k. So selling in the hype was always the best play there. He could actually go back up to about 66k by the end of the week this week, but he is going to go to an 89 rated card, which is pretty cool. I just don't know, again, without any upgrades left really to chase besides that last one, which won't be obtainable until January, how well these cards will hold up without having any upgrades left. Same thing goes for even a VVD. Very expensive card that I know a lot of us can't even get close to sniffing with our coin balances. He's up, but he's going to go to a 93. Going to get that plus one and a roll plus plus. That's one thing we have to look out for too. If the cards got the fourth game with scoring in four different matches, that also gives a roll plus plus addition to the card as well. We'll be looking for that on Friday. That's one thing we have to mention. I'm still a little bit worried. This guy's almost max price. That's crazy. He's very, very expensive, and I would look to sell off on some of those cards that are technically obtained all their upgrades. Now, this is important to talk about because we have more cards that are getting upgraded today. Ali Watkins, or potentially going to get upgraded. Ali Watkins and Villa have a pretty easy, you would say, matchup or in a game where you would expect them to, all they have to do, score, which is going to get them their fourth match, which they would score in. And of course, that would mean a plus one and a roll plus plus added to him. Kind of the same thing with the Brant card. They're expected to score. I would sell in the hype there. So definitely watch out. Araujo as well is another one who could get a double upgrade today. Max price of 1.4 mil. Barca are heavily favored, and this card has gone bananas in the past couple of weeks, especially with the Puteas link and the Rafinha link recently. 513k he was. Now he's 950. I do think this card's very overpriced as well. The plus two seems already baked into the price of this card. Selling it in the hype seems like a smart idea to me there too. That's kind of the road to the knockout upgrade situation, but definitely watch out for more of those cards in line for upgrades today. The last thing I want to note is the new gameplay patch, because if you maybe logged into the game yesterday, you noticed that there was an update to download. There was a new patch that was released. And guys, I played a bunch of games yesterday, and I know I'm not no gameplay pro or anything like that, but to me, the game didn't feel that much different, but I don't think that was the point of the patch, right? As we looked at a lot of the details and a lot of the huge long list that was in the patch, it was more so about a couple of the AI things, but it was a lot about like the menus and small gameplay glitches that were a problem, just like this one. And I can firsthand say that the roll indicators are now way less annoying and in your face now. This is the old way, and they're just huge. They're on the screen for ages. This is the new way. They're a lot smaller. You can still see the player. It's not obstructing the stream or the ball or anything like that and they stay for a lot less time so that is one thing uh, that is very nice about the new patch but of course the, if there is any change in gameplay it'll probably be figured out here in the next couple of days i was noticing yesterday if you guys watched the second channel upload i tried out rooney because rooney was one of the players that i traded with yesterday my goodness Power Shot Plus is just disgusting. I knew it's, I know it's been good. All the pro players have been using it. You see it on the pro stream this weekend, but it is insane. And this card himself is absolutely insane as well. So that's kind of all the updates from yesterday. Now, let's get into the news that we have to talk about from yesterday, but it kind of impacts us heading towards this weekend as we start to start to think about what's coming on Friday with the Centurions promo, but also Ballon d'Or news. Guys, we don't have anything new about Ballon d'Or cards being added into the game. I'm checking right here. I don't see them. No new card designs in the game yet, but we did have some new leaks of pack code that has been added and news about the Ballon d'Or card designs, right? We've been wondering this from the beginning when we saw this first concept on Twitter. What are these cards going to do this game? Are there, is it going to be an evolution? Are they going to be SBCs? How is it going to look? Well, we're starting to get some answers but not really a specific answer and like the answers to all of our questions. This is the pack that's added to the code. The Ballon d'Or nominee pack includes five rare gold player items rated 85 or higher and 85 times five pack with one guaranteed player to be a Ballon d'Or nominee, all items untradeable. Now, looking at the text of that pack and the description of it, that screams store pack, right? You know, when they give out a guaranteed promo card like that and 85 times 5, that's way too good to be an SBC right now. That literally just sounds like they're going to add this pack into the store. Ballon, D Ballon d'Or nominee pack. But just after this was tweeted out, Viva Trading Romania, another leaker said, loan cards with a yawn emoji. So... 
is it actually going to be loan cards that these nominee cards are going to be given out as whether it's a timed loan or like a number of games played loan so it's really confusing because also it's like wait Ballon d'Or nominees we have questions guys right Ballon d'Or nominees why nominee like it's not just Rodri and Bonmati. Are there going to be more players? Because the word nominee makes me think of like team of the year nominees in past FIFAs where we've had all the nominees that were selected for potential team of the years or maybe even team of the season nominees that were in old games released into packs as well. Are there going to be more players than just Bonmati and Rodri that come as Centurions and or Ballon d'Or players? Like it's really confusing. That's my first question. Are there more than just two? My other question is, Rodri's leaked as a Centurions card, but is he actually coming as a Centurions card or is he coming as a Ballon d'Or card? I'm really confused, guys. This is kind of where the leaks are intersecting at the same time. Are these Ballon d'Or nominee cards actually going to be like a mini promo inside of the Centurions promo that's going on in this game this weekend? Or is it just kind of its own little thing happening in the store and they're going to give out Ballon d'Or cards with sick dynamics and cool, cool looking stuff like this for loan cards? That's why that we have questions still about this whole situation because we have Centurions coming this weekend, right? We talked about it yesterday. The icons are coming, and now we have this Rodri leak. We're maybe going to get some more Centurions player leaks as well. We have Centurions coming, but then there's this Ballon d'Or mystery kind of inside of it. But I'm not getting my hopes up too high because, again, Romania here is saying that it's lone cards. One thing that I think would help us solve this whole situation is if we actually had the pack code added by Foot Scoreboard, right? Guys, Foot Scoreboard has not yet tweeted out um, the actual pack code. And once we see that, we see the description of the pack and we see like how it's worded because you can see like right here for some of these packs, you will learn a lot from just seeing if it's going to be a loan, it would say in the description that it's going to be a loan. And that pack code that was tweeted out here, whether it was left out on purpose or whether it wasn't it does not say loan so that is a big curious curious thing this could be huge if the cards are not loans but even if they're timed loans and they're crazy cards this could actually impact the market or it could be a yawn like he is saying here about the loan cards so we're waiting for that official pack code to be uploaded but it kind of sounds like if this is being added to the code right now we're going to see these ballon d'or nominee cards this weekend on this game as a part of whatever promo they're going to call it centurions with ballon d'or i don't know this weekend we'd expect to see those on the game now that wasn't the only pack code that was added and the conversation goes a little bit further with the other packs that were added to kind of looking towards centurions first thing is this 100 player pack now you might be like nate we already have a 100 player pack yeah we have the 75 times 100 that's in the season pass at the end at level what is it like 30 30 35 whatever the end of the season pass is this season a 75 times 100 there is there this is different though this is a pack that is related to the centurions promo and if you have played this game the past couple of years you will remember this pack when i describe it the 100 players pack last year dropped as an upgrade pack during centurions it's not all gold cards, guys. It is going to be a mix of silvers, bronzes, and golds. And usually EA require like an 83 and 84. Last year, it was like two or three squad requirements. It was expensive. And yes, the silvers and bronzes, maybe you're good if you're hunting a card for an Evo. But since there's not that many gold cards in it, it really ended up being a really poor pack for the price that you had to pay to get it done. So that pack sounds cool because it's like, oh my goodness, 100 players, that could be crazy. It's not all golds, and the pack usually is overpriced and underwhelming, to be completely honest. So I just kind of want to set the expectation there. I would love to be wrong here, but that's just how the Centurions 100 player pack, since that's kind of the whole point of the Centurions promo, 100 of something, appearances, goals, assists, like that's the whole point of the Centurions promo, right? That pack is going to be related to that content this weekend maybe later as an SBC, we will have to see now also at the same time we have this 85 plus rttk or total rush player pack that is added to and it's pretty easy to decipher what this is going to be right guys this is going to be the replacement for this right here the rttk slash total rush upgrade which we've done now four times because it's refreshed like every couple days it's been honestly a lot of fun to do because it's pretty cheap right it's an 82 and an 83 rated squad with a team of the week and 184 now them adding an 85 85 plus stipulation to this pack or guarantee if you will literally changes nothing it takes out 
I think I counted today like six or seven cards that are 84 rated between total rush and road to the knockouts. Goncalo Ignacio would be one of those, actually. If you were able to pack Ignacio today from this new SBC, well, actually, he wouldn't be upgraded yet, so he'd still be an 84. So he won't be packable from this one. Just kidding. But, like, that's one of the cards that would be taken out of it. So... You know, it's taking out a couple of fodder cards. Could they make it more expensive then? I guess they could, but it really is not going to change much about the pack weight of this SBC. If they make it more expensive, that's a little bit of a, more of a scam, to be honest, because, like, guys, again, literally, it's going to take out five or six, maybe seven of the 84-rated cards. It's not going to change the pack weight. You're still going to be packing some of the same cards that we all packed before. Terry Abalera, Ito, um, he's not in packs, just kidding. Asper the Quetos, who I got from the very first one of these packs, the Total Rush card. Maybe Arnold, maybe Ben Rama, maybe Rodriguez. That's and Dombele. You're still going to be packing those 85 cards, but that is added to the code. And Romania says tomorrow, but you know, it's kind of obvious, right? One upgrade pack goes away, the next one will come in. So I expect that 85 plus pack coming today. Now, that's why I said as well for the lower rated fodder 83s, 84s, and maybe 85s if they're really going to require those today. I, I hope not. But 83s and 84s for sure, I think would actually have a bump today at the content drop. And that would be a great time to be selling some of those cards as well as the informs. Maybe if you want to sell informs before that, because 15k for those is, is pretty nice. But um, I would expect the 83s and 84s to have a slight bump today at content. Maybe the 85s a little bit too. Depends on the requirements. But uh, they're going to be in demand again as people are going to want to do that SBC. Even my club right now, I'm running low on the 83s and 4s just because I've been doing some of the other SBCs and the ones that refreshed yesterday. So that's kind of the part of Wednesday content I think we're looking forward to the most, even though it may not be that insane. It is going to be dropping. And then also, of course, it's Wednesday. So what does that mean? New Team of the Week is going to be coming out. Team of the Week 8, we do have a couple of names confirmed, including Victor Yikerez finally getting a card, Solanke. Diani, Kundanji, Danny Omo, Batie, Fratesi, Kubo, Kirkes, and a couple of others, and probably some more names too added to come in the team in week eight. So we'll have to see. This Yikerez is going to have a lot of hype, of course. A lot of people wanted him to get a Trailblazer, and after the game he played yesterday too. I mean, he's deserved multiple informs and multiple special cards thus far, and this is going to be his first one there. So that's one thing to watch out today for him. And then Diani as well. Diani actually would be a very interesting link if you need French links, D1 or Kemba links. We'll have to see how much her card price is. Is The gold for her is cheap, but her road to the knockouts is super duper expensive. So those are the current leaks for the team team of the week. And then guys, we got to talk about market. I wanted to reserve some time at the end of this video to discuss a little bit about the market again, because the market's been in a pretty decent spot in the last couple of days. I made some really good flips on Rooney. We made about 50k profit ish between these two cards. This was um I bought this for 780, so that was a nice little bit of profit. This Lucio was a really good flip that I just finished up uh, passing on here. Uh it was 1.107 the buy price for this. Sold it for 1.23. I flipped an Usman Dembele from 1.18 to 1.27 and I picked up a couple of icons. I have another Smith I bought at 780 and I bought a Cannavaro for 480 and 499 and this guy sells for usually right around 550k so i'm hoping to get these out get my coins liquid and ready for what will be um, a hopeful day of investing once again because it is wednesday right and wednesday is the days where we look for a bit of a market drop i don't know how big the market drop is going to be today and i know a lot of people are looking to invest of course but i think we just got to wait until content comes out and then we look at these out of pack special cards promo cards, icons, and heroes. Those are the cards that work every single week. And I think you just kind of have to stick to the bread and butter. The same stuff that's been happening and working the last couple of weeks is probably going to work this week as well. Yes, there could be some leaks that have changed the situation. And, you know, I still expect there to be a nice rise on some promo cards though. So what I would tell you to do today is watch prices of players that you think will rise well. Last week, I was watching Trent Alexander-Arnold and I was watching Diogo Dalot really, really closely. This week, we maybe have that Andy Robertson SBC still looming that could hurt the price of Dalot a little bit. Um, but like, just keep an eye on out-of-pack special cards, guys. It doesn't have to be out-of-pack special cards only. A card like this Guerrero, even some of the gold cards, they do good each week as well. You can look to buy those during rewards, though, if you want. This would also be a good opportunity to sell off some gold cards like Hyunmin Sun, right? Uh, last week, Sonny went went up from Monday, 170, all the way to Wednesday. You see here he peaks up at 196, and then what do we have? A drop until during rewards. He's back down at 170 before he goes back up 
to over 200,000 coins again by early Friday morning. And then he drops off on the weekend. And here we are. He went from 160. Now he's back up to almost 170 or about 170. So he's probably going to go down, I would imagine, into the 150s today. Not because we're going to have insane content, but just because that's kind of what's been happening each Wednesday. And there maybe seems to be a little bit less of a catalyst for panic today on a Wednesday, but I still think the market's going to drop off. If you want to wait till rewards, buy anything that is in packs. Trailblazers Team 2 during rewards will be a great investment, specifically Grimaldo. Like, let him drop below 30K today. I mean, maybe he's even like 27K at rewards. He, I mean, look at Sunday. Sunday with uh, the rewards for Division Rivals, he went from 36 and then after content down to 31. So... I do believe that's going to be a card that will be a very investable item. Pop is rare. Bremer is rare. This promo team, just like we saw last week with Trailblazers Team 1, the best time to invest was during the Rivals Rewards, a couple hours after Rivals Rewards. So we'd be watching Team 2 for that sort of investment again tomorrow. But then Team 1, this team here, if there's any dips on these cards, like if Gabriel's back at 3.30 at some point um, today on Wednesday, I would definitely buy one of those. Bastoni, if he's like 360, I'd buy one of those. Urente is even rebounding a little bit. Cole Palmer is still going up. And then, of course, you look at the total rush cards. Like if uh, Lewandowski is 620 or if Tamori is 410, the market's kind of been slowly inching upwards. Uh, but I think we'll see some kickbacks today, and I think it'll be a really good opportunity to pick up on a few cards that could rise even further as we head into the Rivals Rewards market rise. And again, I, I haven't mentioned any heroes or icons here, but there's always heroes and there's always icons that work really, really good. And uh, I wouldn't also be too afraid of buying some cards before the content drop today if you see the drops being, uh, what would the word be, like substantial enough. Like, remember last week we bought Shumeni for 500,000 coins. He went to 570 after rewards. That's a card that I would expect to do pretty good again today too for a bit of a middle tier to higher tier budget. Of course, if you're on a lower tier, there's plenty of informs that move every single week that are on a lower budget, like under 50,000 coin informs that are, you know, players that people are still using in teams. Like, where is Martinelli inform? Martinelli informs 59,000 coins. Let's say he's low 50s today. Yesterday, I believe at one point he was 50, just kidding, he was 56,000 coins. Monday, he was 53K. If he drops back to like 55, snag that. He fits into that team of the week Evo still at the moment. That's a decent buy there. Um, you know, maybe Kim Min Jae moves. This Vandevin, I think, moves consistently every single week. Last week, he moved from 140 up to 167. So that was a really good flip for him there as well. Look at Informs, Trailblazers, Total Rush, and then, of course, Icons and Heroes. They move each and every week as well. So that's kind of what I would watch for on the market. A normal, we're going to treat it as a normal Thursday, if you will, um, and a Wednesday into Thursday. Watch for the drops, buy the drops, and then sell them after the Rivals Rewards rise, especially as we get looking to a promo weekend with icons going to be a part of it. We have the leagues already. We know which players are going to be in, but that's probably going to impact the market, especially those cards I would expect to see some more drops on. And then we're going to be watching today as well for maybe some more leaks, and maybe some more news about what promo cards could be in coming for Centurions. And that thinks we think it's going to be a two-week promo, but we'll have to see. But that's probably something we're going to get some more news on today as well. But that's everything related to the content of this game at the moment in the market. Should be a fun day today for sure. Last day to get your Rivals games in. Of course, it's less points this week. Only 35. I'm on a 2x streak right now. I need 13 points. So what is that like? Four wins and a draw that I still need to get myself the reward upgrade, which seems a lot more doable this week than in previous weeks. And of course, even qualifying for like champs, uh, getting ahead of that a little bit early this week, it's probably a good thing to have on your Wednesday to-do list as well. But that's going to be the video for me today, guys. Hopefully we get some more information on the whole Ballon d'Or situation because this could actually impact the market a lot and could cause some bigger drops if we feel like and, and actually learn that we're going to get a promo inside of a promo or if these are actually going to be loan cards are they going to impact midfielders because both Rodri and Bonmati are we yeah so many questions still for this so many like small questions hopefully some of those get answered today but if you enjoyed this one drop it up on it comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new of course we will be live on the twitch stream today talking about all the news all the things that we learn and how it's going to impact the market in this game up to the very minute so if, again thank you guys for watching the video today have a great Wednesday and I'll see you in the stream it's Nathan McCown see you there peace out.